And new at 11 o'clock, the screams of these alpacas have the animals at the center of a neighborhood dispute. 10 News reporter Anthony Pura reveals the laws that could have them ripped away from their owner. Hi, honey. You ready? Don't be nervous. You could say Kelly Thor's happy place is her alpaca pen. I got to do my dream of getting alpacas. I've wanted them for 10 plus years. Come here, come on, come on. The brown one up front is Bubba and the back one is Einstein. But Bubba and Einstein could be forced out after a neighbor complained about them. Though they're normally calm, Kelly admits alpacas scream loudly when they get startled. It's just like a dog barking. You can stop them. And so that's what we do. We were surprised when the noise complaint came. The complaint brought code enforcement to their door, who broke the bad news to Kelly that the neighborhood is actually an alpaca free zone. And they said, oh, we classify them in the cow category, <laughs> which has goats and pigs in there. It's a law she disagrees with and is determined to change. Kelly started this petition outside of her front fence. She's gotten 80 signatures on this, plus another 800 or so online. People showing their support to save the alpacas. City planning officials are aware of a possible amendment request, adding the request would have to be measured against unintended consequences. In other words, citywide implications for similarly zoned properties and the existing complaints. Additional outreach and more information would be needed before staff could make a recommendation to the decision making bodies. Kelly plans to submit the rule change application as early as next week so she can keep living the dream with her dream pets. There's something about them that I've always really liked. In Escondido, Anthony Pura, 10 News. The request would have to go to the Planning Commission and then the City Council. As of now, Kelly says there is no hard deadline for when she has to remove her alpacas. 